And we really seek to pray, not in the, we were studying Revelation a while ago, not in the power of the flesh, the power of our own good deeds, but in the power of the Spirit. As the uh, Lord said to the prophet Zechariah in the fourth chapter, <clears throat> we were sort of laughing here as we began a while ago. Uh, I won't tell you what about, but we were laughing. <laughs> And so anyway, I'm so glad you joined with us. Our number is 739-5686. And so uh, give us a call and we will join with you in praying about things that are on your heart, on your mind, okay? We've got a call here. Let's take it. Welcome to Prayer Line. How can Hello we pray for there. you? Hey, who's this? You know who it is. <laughs> I would say it's Mary. What do you think? <laughs> yes. Uh, I've got a few requests. What did the eye doctor say? Uh, everything was fine. I'm... Okay for surgery. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Miss, B we need to remember Miss Vera. Okay. She had eye surgery this morning. Right. Okay, and Dennis and Angie Bradley. That's Miss Berlene Reynolds's son and daughter-in-law. Angie has leukemia, so okay. we need to really pray for <clears throat> them. Okay. And Miss Berlene needs to pray her. She said she needed to have God give her a lot of strength to go through what she's got to go through. Who, who was that? I'm sorry. Berlene. Okay. Uh, Dennis's mama. Right. And um, we remember Dwayne again. Mm -hmm. And then my uncle, his name is Rufus McAnally, but we call him Tate. He has had a mini stroke. Oh, okay. And he's, he's doing fine. And then also remember, I had a cousin's husband, I heard, that shot himself yesterday, mm. Gary Howell. They're, they live at Hansville. Okay. And she was getting the girls ready, and she was getting ready for church, and she went out to the shed in the backyard, and she found her husband dead. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll pray. You said Howell? Howell. Howell. Okay, we'll pray for that family right now then. Uh. Actually, it's Lige Thomas's daughter, Suzanne. She was a Thomas. Ah, I know her. It's Boots. Uh, oh. Her mother's name was Boots, but yeah. her mother was a cousin to my dad. I know who you're talking about. Okay. We will pray for them right now. All right. Thank you so later. much, Mary. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sweetie. Bye-bye. Mm. Well, baby, let me start with a couple of these, and you just pick it up as we go. Uh, Father, I do pray for that entire family right there. And Lord, uh, again, as we were praying earlier about a situation, we don't understand these things all the time, Lord. We do know a couple of things. We know that the evil one seeks to kill, steal, and destroy and try to do all sorts of harm to people. And Lord, we know uh, that we can trust in you. And so, Father, I just continue to place our faith and our trust in you. And I ask that you would be, Lord, uh, with this family right now and all the extended family, Lord, all the extended family. Uh, and just a really, really difficult time. May your peace be upon them, Lord. Mm -hmm. May your comfort be upon them. Lord, may the outpouring of your Spirit be such that they will know beyond any shadow of a doubt that it's your hand that is walking them through this. Lord, I pray that that which was intended for evil, that you will turn around, Lord, and that you will use it for a tremendous good. Uh, Lord, I pray for Mary. And I thank you that she's going to be able to have this little corrective procedure done. And we just continue to pray that all will be well with that. Uh, uh, Lord, for the Bradley family also, Father, we just ask that you would just continue to be with them and just touch uh, Angie. And Father, every one of those rebellious cancerous cells, bring them into proper alignment, yes. Lord. We do just speak your healing by the power of the yes. blood of the Lord Jesus Christ upon her, within her. Lord, the next time that she goes back to a physician that she will be able to testify how much stronger she's feeling when they examine her, that they will find absolutely nothing but wholeness and health in the yes. body. Lord, just bless them. Uh, Lord, for uh, Verlene and Vera also, Lord, for both of them, I just pray, Father, uh, that you would just continue to strengthen them, Lord, and you continue to encourage them. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Father, I'm... Um becoming more and more aware of um, how much uh, suicide has affected many families in um, our communities, Lord. And um, that's something that we don't read about in the papers. Mm -hmm. But um, I hear things very often. And God, whatever it is, 
that is causing that. I pray that you would intervene in each case, Lord. Um, you are a God of hope. And because you are a God of hope, then we really have no reason to despair. We buy into the lie of the enemy when he comes against us. Father, we oftentimes listen to the lies of the enemy more than we listen to the truth that comes from your mouth, Lord, the truth that comes from your word. We often don't know. We don't know your character. We don't know your word because we don't take the time to get to know you, to, to read the letters that you've written to us. Father, I pray that you would draw not only your people into a more intimate relationship with you, God, but that you, your spirit would draw the lost in our communities that there would be such a draw that they can't turn away. And I pray, Father, that thousands will come to you to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ and that you would transform the hopeless, that you would transform the, the spiritually dying, that you would transform the hurting, transform those who have been abused, Lord, transform the criminals, change hearts, change lives in this community, Lord, because you are a God of love and you are a God of hope. And I pray, Father, that you would do the miraculous in our communities around here, Lord. I pray that you would, that your power would be manifest and that your power at work in each person would be very evident, Lord. Father, for this family who has lost a father and a, a husband and I'm sure um, a son, help them through this time of grief. And I pray, God, that you will not let their minds go to what if I had done this, what if I had done that. But I pray, God, that in the midst of their grieving that you would give them peace and that you would ease their pain and their suffering, Lord, because that's the kind of God that you are. Yes. Yes. And I pray, God, that you would show friends and family in the uh, community how to minister to this family, Lord. Yes. And Lord, I pray for uh, also for Dwayne and for Tate and to that Mary mission, Father. Lord, just bless them. Our uh, number is 739-5686. Uh, give us a call and we will pray with you. Um, we'll pick you up as soon as we see you, um, but we continue to pray. Um, Lord, I want to lift up to you uh, the young man, Adam, who called last week. And so, uh, Father, just continue to just, uh, guide him, just protect him, watch over him. Lord, we also intercede for that uh, the family over in uh, uh, Addison, the ones that, you know, that had the, the deaths and the fire. And, uh, Last week, uh, the gentleman I was praying for a while ago, Adam, if you're watching tonight, uh, send me an email because I'd love to just sort of chat back and forth that way. But that's the email address right there. Try to make it easy. A lot of Dale. Dale at dalemore.tv, and that email will come to me. And if you want to send it to us, some of the other folks that are on with us, just let me know, and I'll forward it to them. Also, you can call the TV station. Just call uh, uh, TV27. You can find it in the phone book, and just leave a message. And uh, we'll call you back, and we'll...